Why do some screws have very short, tight threads, while other screws have wider, sharper threads? And which ones should you choose for your projects? Coarse threading versus fine threading is a fundamental topic in fasteners, and it can really affect overall screw performance. So today I'm gonna to shed some light on the subject. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. Real quick, be sure to visit us at thehonestcarpenter.com where you can find my new online course, Power Tools Explained. It's a deep dive on how to use the 20 most important power tools for carpenters and DIYers, and it can really help newcomers get used to these tools. That's available right now in the links below and above. So, screw threads are these helical ridges that travel down the shaft of the screw. And when you drive a screw into wood or other materials, the threads are what create the holding power. In terms of extraction strength, screws are much stronger than nails, which I've discussed before. But how does thread spacing affect screw performance? Why are some screw threads so far apart and steep, while others are packed closely together and shallow? That's what I'm gonna answer here. But the first thing to know is that you typically won't find these two thread types in every kind of screw. Many of the generic box screws you see on the shelf will only be coarse thread with very spaced out ridges. But some other types, like self-tapping screws, will almost always be fine thread. The reason this varies so much across fastener type doesn't really have that much to do with strength. Both coarse thread and fine thread are pretty strong overall. Instead, it has more to do with the material type that you're fastening into. What are the screw threads actually going to be embedded in? That's really what makes the difference. For instance, fine thread screws are great for really dense or hard materials, such as metals and hardwoods. Most of the metal we screw into tends to be thin walled, like steel studs. There's not a lot of material to grab onto here, so the numerous close threads on fine screws help to create a good multiple thread lock with the fastener. This is why sheet metal screws and self-tapping screws are almost always fine thread. Coarse threads, on the other hand, are so long and spaced out that they don't grab metal walls well. They'll drive, but then they'll tend to wobble as they struggle for purchase with just one thread. And fine threads are also good for hardwoods, like oak, because they don't drive quite as aggressively. With so many layers of threads, they turn quite slowly, and they really latch on to the surrounding material, especially if you pre-drill just a little bit. The threads are shallower, so they're less inclined to split the hard, rigid grain. But coarse thread screws, on the other hand, pull into the material too fast, and the wide ridges really put a lot of strain on the wood fibers. This can easily cause grain splitting, especially near the end of the board. So very high quality, expensive wood screws tend to be mostly fine thread as well and have an unthreaded portion of the shaft. Now, coarse thread screws do have their own advantages as well. And where they really shine is with soft materials, as in softwoods like pine, spruce, and fir, or plywoods, which tend to have softer inner layers behind their nice veneers. The grain material in softwoods is quite elastic overall. This is why you can often get away with not even pre-drilling before you drive screws in. The wood just sort of stretches and molds around the fastener and usually won't split. The vast majority of stuff that we build large structures with tends to be softwood or plywood. So the majority of our common fasteners are coarse thread. Just look at all of our deck screws and structural screws. They all have large, wide spaced threads. These screws also drive faster because they pull into the material more quickly. So they're just easier to install overall. Fine threads, on the other hand, won't always latch onto really soft wood with ease. The threads can sort of pulp the material as they cut through it, gumming up the screw channels. So it can be tedious to drive them. Sometimes they'll make a resiny squeaking sound. Composites like MDF or melanine also respond well to coarse thread, but they need to be pre-drilled carefully. Only a few kinds of fasteners will come in both types. The ones we see most often are probably drywall screws and pocket screws. The reason we see both types for drywall screws is because we attach drywall to both wood framing and metal framing. So when you're attaching drywall to pine, go with coarse. When you're attaching to metal studs, go with fine. And we also see both in pocket screws as well. But what you choose varies by what your bottom material is. If your wall is ply, but your face is hardwood, then use a fine thread screw so it draws the hardwood piece more gently. If both surfaces are soft, like plywood and pine, then you can use coarse thread. Just be sure to stay back from the end grain a few inches and you can generally drive as fast as you like. In the end, it's a small detail, but it can make a big difference. And it's always important to understand why things are engineered a certain way so you can use them to best effect. 
This topic gets even more complicated with nuts and bolts, where finer threading is the standard and misalignments can lead to mangled threads or even metal fatigue. But it's a topic we'll have to leave for another time. If you're looking for good fasteners, I'll link some below in the description. And I'll also link Power Tools Explained. It's available right now at thehonestcarpenter.com along with some cool freebies. So check it out. Thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you'll consider subscribing down below. I'm Ethan James with thehonestcarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.